Chuck Pace men. I need to be careful. We will attack on sight here. Soonin. Clash of iron. There is fighting nearby. Zag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Chotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Aval's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship. Arvosness. Where that Oathbreaker is holding my crew.
Cutlass warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate... Longhouse. I cried. There should be an opening in the roof. Like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. Stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. What they taught you! I will sell you to hell herself! Yeah. Neo Wolf kiss, and I will spare your life! Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Yes, of course. You have no thought, Wolf Kissler, even if your wits were somewhat rat.
If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Cut this man. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Jotve will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of seal skin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone.
Let the sail out! Gods, I love being out on the open water. The chill, the mist, the rolling waves. It gives a feeling of freedom. And then, to look around and see the rising fjords and glinting snow, I think, by the gods, the world is a place of wonder. See there, the vaulted shoulder bones of sad Emir. The bobbing seas his blood. His brains, the soaring clouds, fashioned for stout warrior folk by the old father and his kin. For all this, we must give thanks. There you go again, putting feeling into words that none here can match. Try a verse yourself, Dag. Poems are not difficult if you give vent to your feelings. Uh, I will feel my feelings as I always have, without words between them and me. King Styrbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling as he agrees. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> 